Hello everybody, my name is Tennyson. I'm working as an application engineer at Best Engineering Aids and Consultancies Private Limited. Today we'll see how to use the bearing calculator tool that will help all the mechanical engineers. When a mechanical engineer sits down to design a machine uh, which has a motor and a shaft, he will have to choose an appropriate uh, bearing which will withstand all the forces. This bearing calculator tool will help him validate his choice of uh, bearing. Now let's go ahead and add the toolbox which has the bearing calculator. There are two ways where you can add the uh, toolbox. You can, one is you can go to the tools menu, uh, select add-ins and check the box that's right next to SOLIDWORKS toolbox. Else, uh, second method, you can select the office products tab and select uh, SOLIDWORKS toolbox. To understand the uh, SOLIDWORKS toolbox, uh, it is nothing but a huge library of uh, all the standard components a design engineer might use. All the globally used uh, standards are all available. Uh, components like uh, bearings, bolts, screws, nuts, even power transmission components like gears are also available. Now if you're wondering uh, which version of SOLIDWORKS carries uh, this uh, SOLIDWORKS toolbox, it, it comes with uh, SOLIDWORKS Professional and uh, SOLIDWORKS Premium. Now uh, let's click on bearing calculator. Uh, window opens up uh, with a lot of options uh, which will help the designer to choose a standard bearing. Now there are uh, two uh, units available, US or uh, the SI unit, so let me select the SI unit and uh, the uh, uh, standard which I would like to use, ISO and there are many different uh, uh, types of uh, bearings that are also available, instrument ball bearing, instrument roller bearing, thrust ball bearing and thrust roller bearing. You can choose uh, the bearing that, will be, that you think will be more appropriate to uh, the design. Uh, here I am going to choose instrument ball bearing uh, which because uh, I feel it is more appropriate for the assembly that I have uh, opened. Uh, and the numbers you see uh, below are uh, the standard uh, bearings. Um, the digits 3 and uh, 4 represent the inner diameter and the digits uh, 5 and 6 represent the outer diameter. So uh, here let me uh, select a bearing with an inner diameter of uh, uh, 5 mm. So all I have to do is scroll down and select uh, a standard bearing with 5 mm uh, inner diameter. So I have selected this uh, standard uh, uh, bearing. And if you see here, the bore and the OD uh, automatically gets populated, even the uh, number of balls and the ball diameter. Uh, and this uh, number of balls and ball diameter are actually. Uh, can be uh, manipulated according to the capacity uh, that we require. So let me see. Uh, let me show you how uh, we can uh, uh, use this. Uh, so here I'll give uh, the number of balls as 20 and click on solve, uh, and I'll give me uh, the capacity of the bearing as 465 or 466 uh, newton. Now let me uh, sh uh, go back to the default number of uh, balls, which is 18 and again click on solid capacity and here if you see uh, this is only 434.3 uh, newton so uh, in this way we can uh, select uh, uh, the number of balls which uh, we want according to the capacity uh, that will uh, be required and if uh, here above if you see there is uh, two uh, categories uh, one calculated and another one rated uh, i have selected calculated because i would like to calculate the capacity of the bearing that I'm going to choose uh, from the standard library or else if you're using a customized uh, company bearing uh, you can click on rated uh, and straight away enter the rated uh, capacity uh, of that particular bearing. Now next we'll have to enter the equivalent force uh, the bearing is going to be subjected to. Uh, here if you see uh, this bearing is going to be subjected to radial forces and uh, thrust forces uh, which is uh, calculated uh, around uh, 450 Newton. I'll enter that and uh, here when I click on solve life it, it is going to show me an error message saying the load should be less than half the capacity so, so that the bearing will uh, actually uh, give more life. So here uh, my equivalent force is 450 Newton but the capacity of the bearing is only 430 
uh, Newton has to be actually double the equivalent load. So I have to go back to my uh, standard uh, bearing library and select uh, an appropriate uh, bearing which has a capacity uh, double the equivalent force. So let me select the next one. Good. Uh, if you see here, the capacity is 1030 Newton, which is uh, obviously more than the equivalent force. Uh, so now I can click on uh, solve life and get the life of the bearing. Uh, I, have, I have not entered the speed of the bearing, but it will still give me uh, the life in revolutions and give me an uh, error message saying invalid speed for the life calculation. So here I can enter a speed uh, that is uh, around 1000 RPM and it will give me a life in hours too. Now this particular uh, life in hours is actually uh, calculated according to the reliability which the designer designer wants. Uh, there are uh, few standard reli reliability numbers that is uh, L1 to L10. Uh, when, when you say L10, uh, the designer is okay with 10% uh, of wear of the bearing. So when 10% when of uh, uh, wear of bearing uh, is done, it, it, you have to change the bearing. So for this 10% uh, of wear to achieve, to be achieved, uh, life uh, in hours is uh, 200 hours. And if you want, if the designer wants the life, uh, the wear and tear uh, to be only 1%, he can select L1 and uh, in 42 hours the 1% one, 1 of wear and tear will be uh, seen in the bearing. So this is what uh, the bearing calculator actually shows and uh, it actually this is, this is pre pretty much it uh, it actually shows uh, the life of the bearing that you use uh, according to the forces you give as an input and uh, it, uh, it uh, eases the uh, mathematical uh, work of the designer to calculate the life of the bearing. So SOLIDWORKS is a, a pretty good uh, tool for a designer to use uh, for designing and validating his designs. Uh, thank you.